Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm from O Floppy Fiddlesticks and I'm here today to work with you and show you how and what is in my craft bag. Look forward to seeing you guys. So, I thought that I would show you um, what's in my bag. So, there's a couple of things that uh, through the years that I've got you, I've actually made for myself, which is one of these. Um, it is my crochet hook and pen holder. Um, I made the, this is the first one ever made, so it's not perfect. But I was always losing my hook, and I don't know if you're the same, but I am. I'm always losing my hook. So what I decided was I was going to make myself um, something pretty to sit on my side. So when I'm um, not working, I can then put my hook in my pen holder and works a treat for me. So the other things that I like to have are obviously a pair of scissors but my favourite pair of scissors are these little ones here. They're really sharp, they're perfect for sewing and they're just really handy. Um, they're great so I have those and the other thing that I like to have as well is um, th this is great for travelling, this is a clover, um, I've forgotten the exact name for it but basically there's a blade inside of um, if you can see that there's the blade inside so you can take this on the plane and you can cut the wall and you don't have to worry i put a little bit of ribbon in mine so i find it easier to find so they're my go-to's there um i have bought a number of other crochet hooks throughout time and um, so i'm just going to show you a selection um this is the i'm sure it's clover it's a japanese make and um, for me personally i find it a little bit too short i used to love working with them but since making my own i find my hand struggles a little bit but I've still got a whole set of them this may be happy. Um, I have these ones as well um, which are rubber um, again these are just more comfortable in your hand and you find that they, they warm nice and easy um, but I find again they're a little bit too short for my hand since so making my own I've um, gone different and this is my big biggest size hook that I have my 10 um, and that's for obviously using balls that are of a larger size and I find it's very strange because you feel like you're working with a sausage <laughs> to put it bluntly and um, it is really really big um, but it is nice it's quite heavy as well um, but yeah I do I still like it that's my, my big one and I have my obviously my um, homemade hooks as well that I make for myself and for orders as well so and I prefer the feel of the matte finish of the polymer clay um, I just find it's, it tends to I don't know, I just really like it. It just feels really nice in my hand and it feels comfortable. I do make them bigger. Um get some over here. That we make for people with um, those who suffer with arthritis, so if they've got arthritis, this one hasn't been set yet, we've still finished off making this one. Um, so that they can hold it looser so it doesn't hurt the hands as much, it's much bigger and it's deep in their share to that one this one as well so it's slightly um, shorter there which is perfect for ambling um, so if you've got hooks that are much smaller in size below three then it's nice to have something that gives it a little bit added strength because sometimes you can have um, hooks that are um, thinner and they can tend to bend so having that on gives it a bit more stability which I find really helps so that's what's in there and obviously the other things I always think you should have are your stitch markers so this is a different type of stitch marker which you can actually clip onto your fabric so you can clip it on. there is it we even have these ones which I prefer um, I don't like big hooks for my hips and I just can't use them to count the stitches or to um, tell me where I need to increase or decrease I also use them when I'm making cardigans to um, help me formulate the pattern um, so that when I'm putting bits together I know where I need to I need to work and um, it helps in that way so that's that's kind of what's in my bag I thought you'd like to know um, that because if you're a new crafter um, there's, you always want an excuse to go spend a little bit on yourself do you know what I'm very, I find it hard to spend money on certain things but when it comes to my crafting um, I don't really question it as much the other thing I have actually which I forgot to show you is these these are brilliant, these are wool needles, um, but I absolutely love these. I buy sets after sets because I'm always losing them. But they've got a plastic loop so you can't fray your wool. So they just get there. You can't fray your wool at all, so it doesn't matter what size you can you see that? You can't. It's a bit against the back. Um, 
say this about what wall size you're using. You haven't got to worry about pushing it through. You can just literally open these up so they're completely wide. Um, that's a really long length. Then there's this one, which is the medium, and then I've got another one, which is even smaller. So you can work on even smaller projects. So that is all in all. Let me just put this all right. I'm struggling with my finger a little bit at the moment because it's a bit cold. So this hand is really struggling. You don't realise how much you use your left hand when you don't have one. <laughs> so that is my go to. Oh, and I'm getting messages through. Sorry about that. And I have other bits and bobs, but I like to buy nice purses as well. So I put everything in my nice purse so that when I go out, if I go out and, um, anywhere, that I've got all my bits and bobs in my purse, in this special purse, just specifically for that purpose, and a bag to match, so I don't look like an odd bod. <laughs> so there you go, my lovelies. That is our introduction to my half bag, and we hope to see you soon on more videos that we should be making, and we look forward to seeing and hearing your feedback as well. So have a lovely day, my lovelies. So there you have it guys, they are the must haves to have in our bag um, down to the bare essentials, um, that's not including all of the other things we buy, so oh, anyway that's it, time's up, we'll see you soon, bye.